it's Marina. I'm here to do a project share with you. I was going to post this in our, I posted some uh, photos on Facebook, but I haven't been able to upload a video yet. So um, it's been done for a few days. I just uh, been so busy running around this weekend. So this is the first time that I've been able to just sit down and uh, do a video of this. I did do a Periscope as soon as I finished with it. So um, if you guys don't have Periscope, you guys should definitely check it out. It's so fun. There's so many awesome crafters on there. Like, um, Susan Shiles, there she does a lot of mixed media and collaging. She's very inspiring, and she she just takes you through what she does and uh, shows you how she does it. And it's it's very fun to watch. And um, Marion Smith is on there. I've seen some of her videos. I don't actually have her planners, which is what she's been making. Uh, she's been making um, um, clips clips for um, for the planners. So she goes through and she shows you how to do these clips and it's really awesome. So, um, and she's live. So you're seeing her live while she does this and she's such a cool person. Um, it's really cool to be able to watch them live. I've also seen Tim Holtz on there and he showed us, uh, just a couple days ago, he showed us his uh, Rangers warehouse. Um, he was able to do, like he was, he asked permission and they let him um, go do a little walkthrough of um, how they make stickles and what they use and what it looks like and uh, we also saw the alcohol inks area and that was so awesome that was so cool so you know you get to see these people live and you know see what's going on right now so um, Jamie Lola's on there you guys know her on YouTube as Poet Spice she's so fun to watch too she's always so she's always got such a positive attitude and she's a uh, she's fun to she's a joy to watch too so um, I always enjoy and look forward to her videos because <laughs> I, I always get, you get this little tweet on your phone and it makes this little uh, chirping sound because uh, Periscope is through, oh gosh, what are they through? They're through Twitter. So they were made through Twitter. They still have some work to do on it before it's actually like really awesome. But um, um, so anyway, your phone chirps when, <laughs> whenever there's a, a recording. So I always look forward to seeing that and seeing who's on there's and I'm actually um, seeing some new crafters and I've been wanting to get on there more but everything's so crazy right now so I kind of just take one a day at a time and do one thing at a time so anyway back to this I'm going to show you guys this this was a graphic August challenge. challenge you were supposed to use your favorite collection now. rare oddities and gilded lily so of course I chose rare oddities because I've been wanting to do a project with this to begin with so I was gonna do Kathy orders my design mini album and then put that in here but when I I had measured every single thing out like I have no cardstock left I have no cardstock left because I measured everything out that she was that she asked you to you know that the instructions came with and so the last thing you're supposed to measure out is <laughs> the cover and I should have done this to begin with but I it doesn't I didn't think it mattered because I'm gonna make it regardless so I was like hopefully it'll fit in this box and so that's what I did I measured everything out and then when I got to the cover I was like oh no it came out to like right here and it was barely barely too big so uh, to fit in this box so <laughs> it's fine I was like it's fine I'll just I'll just make my own mini album from scratch, which is what I've been wanting to do anyway. So plus I had, you know, creative license to just do whatever. So that's what I did with this one. Um, this was originally a book. Uh, uh, gosh, what do you call it? I don't know what you call these things. They're just like a box. It looks like a book and it sits like a book, but it's not a book. <laughs> um, I got this from Michaels a year ago and it's, it had a really cool design on it. It said explore and uh, it had a really cool side and all that and inside was decorated with maps I wanted to for this project I wanted a, to alter a one of these so that's what I did and um, let's see what else. So I just glued, I just basically measured it out and glued it, not glued it on. I used a um, Sequing score tape. So here I used some Butterbee scraps embellishments and I alcohol inked them. And then back here I used some of that stuff that you get from the store during Halloween and it's just like some uh, stray fabrics like that are really supposed to be creepy for creepy decorations. I have some Butterbee scraps corners here. I cut this out of the collection and then backed it onto some black cardstock. And um, 
everything is distressed in black black soot and then here is a Marion Smith uh, junk and gems acrylic piece I think this is junk and gems and then um, I have some cheesecloth back here and then a I don't know if you can see it but I layered this so that there's a Butterbee scraps flower here and or not a metal embellishment and then the paper the paper flower, the purple paper flower, and then there's another embellishment, and then another embellishment, uh, metal embellishment underneath that, and then I just put some rhinestones here, and then I put some uh, Butterbee Scraps corners, so anyway, I'm going to stop saying Butterbee Scraps because that's pretty much all I used as far as metal, <laughs> as far as all the metal is concerned, it's all Butterbee Scraps, so um, if you guys are interested in using any of her metal embellishments, I will put her link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check her out. Here is some cheesecloth that I cut into strips and I was going to put like some frilly trim here but I didn't want to do that because it looked like it was too busy so plus I didn't want to cover up too much of this. And then um, I just, I kind of uh, balled it up in my hand after I cut it out and then I sprayed it with some some uh, Marion Smith Color Lab, the Color Lab spray that I made and I just kind of balled it up and rolled it around and came out with like this blotchy color and it kind of messed with the te uh, the way that the cheesecloth looked too so I really like that and there's the back and so there's a reason why I put the ribbon on I wasn't originally gonna put the ribbon on but things changed because uh, I made the album spine different so here is the uh, way I tied it on I just uh, used this is actually really not really really old but it's like from 1980 or something I don't know um, it's from the 80s <laughs> got it at the thrift store and it's some really cool ribbon and it's velvety and it's really pretty I like it I have uh, a good, I have a decent amount left I'm gonna be sad when it's gone though so uh, that's that oh yeah and then I just distressed the spine sorry I can't get it all in frame here but I'll just go ahead and go inside and take the album out. So see how it just kind of pops open just a little bit? I didn't want it to, and that happened because of this right here. Uh, because I, I put this cloth on here and it's a little bit thicker. So, uh, plus I kind of made the cover a little bit chunky, but it's mostly because of this part right here. So, um, so this is the album move this over here that I made for the challenge and I could have just made a tag I really should have just made a tag for the challenge because I could only post one picture on the website or sorry on the Facebook page but um, that was a bummer I wanted to like post all of the pictures <laughs> for it so um, this is a, um, a piece that was gifted to me thank you so much and I was so happy I finally got to use it because I've been having this I've sat this on my desk like over I have that plastic thing right there or the drawers and I kind of just set it on top and because I wanted to use it so bad and I can never find a project that is just like this is the right one to use it for so this one finally was like this is perfect this is where it's going so this is where I put it and sorry this is all messed up right here because it's been sitting in the box but um, I've just used some cheesecloth some sorry silks and some um, um, eyelash eyelash yarn and I just put that on tied that on there so I tried to stick with uh, flatter flowers and mostly metal and um, paper for my embellishments because I didn't want I only had a certain amount of room that this could expand so so and it still fit in the box which is cool because I've never actually done anything like that before so that was cool um let's see here hello Jupiter what's wrong you take my phone. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's my cat Jupiter. Had to pet her real quick. Okay, so let's see if I can get this up here so you guys can see it. Alright, so I glimmer misted this flower. I put some cheesecloth, some of that black cloth from the cover, and some black tulle. And then down here I just put, I, I did lots of uh, fussy cutting lots and lots of fussy cutting which I don't enjoy fussy cutting at all but there's a couple days when I wasn't working on this because everything was all crazy at home and uh, we were doing lots of running around but when I got back I was so tired but I had to do something for this album where I was gonna be upset because it was just sitting there like you need to make me before the 31st so 
So I would cut out little things from the paper. So I cut that out down there. And then there's some more pieces over here that I cut out. And then there's just random little things all over the journal that I cut out. So, you'll, or not the journal, sorry, the album, and you'll see. Um, so I did lots of layering on the cover. I fussy cut this out and this one, and I just kind of layered it on as I liked it. And it's all, it all turned out good. I had it in so many, <laughs> you guys can see me working on it. It was just a mess. My desk was a mess. There was a mess everywhere. But this was fun. Okay, so the spine. This was gifted to me by Lori, just the girl from the Bay. Hi, Lori. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. I love it, and I love the way it looked on this album. It's perfect. Um, and I used some of this trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. And, oh gosh. They were, they were having a trim, you know, when they have the trims and uh, ribbon sales. And as long as it's on the spool and not by the yard, it's all on sale. So um, this, I don't have any leather straps or belt, actual belts. So I noticed that this had little holes in it. And that it would work really well for the buckle. So I use this for the strap. So we're just going to go inside now. And so as you guys know, I usually do journals. So that's what I did here. I just made a... I don't usually... I do a little bit of everything. So in here I just did a, a, little, a little journal to write in. So... There's nothing too much. It's just a little tiny journal, and I used this from the cut. There was cutouts uh, in the 12 by 12, and I didn't. I took two of them that were together, and just cut those out together and scored along the part where they would separate, and then um, close and just folded it in half and put some paper in there. And I used a pamphlet stitch on the binding, and then I put these tags in there. And I didn't have any special tag you know measurement or anything I just had these I had lots and lots of strips and scraps and I tried to use everything so I only have a little bit of scraps left from the 12 by 12 I also used the 6 by 6 uh, paper pad and I used the tags and pockets that came with the collection so I used all of those um, so for this this was just a piece of uh, cardstock that I had left from all of the measuring that I did with the other stuff plus this one and so I tried to use those as well I still have a whole bunch left but all I did was kind of bend it in the corner or like fold it over I don't know if you guys have seen it before when you just kind of if you want to make the corners even you kind of just fold it over like that and you try not to bend it there but then you just kind of cut the ends off and so that's how I made the, ta made the tag and now I just put a, a metal embellishment up here and then this is just I was gonna make this a pocket but this was like one of the last things that I did because I was I kind of flipped through and go back and then return to what I was doing and then it was weird so I was gonna leave this open to be a tuck spot and I ended up gluing it all the way down I was really tired so it's okay it still looks pretty so these are some cutouts that I just put on here and then um, a little flower a purple flower and some um, some of that cheese some of that cheesecloth and then up here is uh, another metal, metal embellishment. I'm just going to flip this down. And so down here I've made a bookmark. And this was one of the keys from the paper collection that I fussy cut out. And then I just put a... Uh, hey, what is that? Sorry. Butterfly over it. And then I have some tuck spots here where I just put some cutouts in there. And I didn't use any die cuts in this. I was going to add some die cuts, but I really don't have that many that would go well with this. The ones that I have are mostly geared towards gears. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're mostly uh, towards steampunk type themes. And, um, well, I didn't want to do that for this because I'm going to be making a, a uh, steampunk and spells album really soon here. So I didn't do that. So up here is some more pockets. I have a double pocket up here. And I just put some little bits and pieces up here, a uh, little cut cutouts that I had, and then some more metal embellishments, and then another cutout. And that just closes with a magnet. And then on the sides, I have, um, you know, the photo mats, of course. Of course, of course. So those are in there. 
and this one gets all bent up because of the book it sticks out just a little bit too far so when I stick it in the box it kind of just bends so I'm gonna turn the page all right so let me make sure I'm in frame here okay I'm gonna zoom in for this one all right so I have a tuck spot here where I just put one of the cutouts and then I've layered again I've layered um, some metal embellishments, a uh, paper flower, another metal embellishment, and I need to glue this down because the adhesive back is just sliding all over the place. So that goes right there. And I really love this one. Everything uh, sticks together with a mag. Mostly everything sticks together with a magnet. So you just lift it up right, right here and it flips open. And on the side here, I had meant to make this with a magnet so that way it would close like that and once again, I wasn't really paying attention, and so it didn't get a magnet, so that's why I use this as a closure. And then there's a little pocket right here. Let me go, go in there. Okay. And then this, this turns down, and that flips open right there. So there's a little place for a photo and some journaling. And then here, I'm going to move this right here. Alright, and then here is just a tag, and I put like two corners there. So this could be used for a large photo mat, and then this can be used for a photo mat as well, or a journal spot. And then I just have one of the tags from the tag collection in here. Just tuck that in. It goes just like that. And then, and I didn't do anything to this one, because I really just thought it would be cool to have something I mean, and it's so pretty. I didn't want to cover it up, so I left it. I left it as it is, and I just put some corners here. And then, of course, there's some more photo mat areas. And I switched back and forth from craft card stock to black card stock. Uh, one of the reasons being because um, the main reason being because I didn't have a lot of black left, and I didn't have enough. But and I also thought it'd be nice to have this as a feature in the. I was just thinking what could I do to make this still work because I have to do this to, to do this album so what can I do and this is what I came up with and I really love how it turned out so I'm happy with that decision another photo mat and so on this page we have some pockets here from the pockets and tag collection and they just come right out. And then I've cut these out, out these I've cut out these frames and these don't actually go with these images. I've cut them out and um, kind of switched them. This one goes with this one and I think I don't remember, but I cut them out. So, um, then I just raise these ones up on some foam squares. So, this opens up like that. Oh yeah, and this is another metal embellishment where, like the other ones, I've just layered it. I've done a metal embellishment, paper flower, and then another metal embellishment, paper flower, and then a rhinestone. Oh, and there's some uh, eyelash trim behind the paper flower. So that opens up like that. And I stuck those in the wrong place. So I'm going to put them where they go. <laughs> That's better. So here's the photo mat area, and I thought it'd be cool. Hold on, let me zoom out so you guys can see it. I thought it'd be cool to have some uh, journaling spots. So this could be like a two photo spot, or one giant photo, or multiple photos, and then it could just be a spot to journal. And they close with magnets, of course. And then this page. Uh, this is the one of the images from the cover, or the same image that I used for the cover, but I left it as it is, and I was doing my best to use all the paper I had left, so I thought this was really pretty, and I just thought I'd just leave it like this instead of cutting it out. And then I used a Tim Holtz swivel clasp and some metal uh, chain that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were having, like I said earlier, they're having one of their sales on the trims and ribbons. And this was one of them, and it's just this decorative trim here, 
and it, there's so much on this roll for what you what you pay for it's so worth it and it's a good quality uh, chain like it's not going to just pull apart so I love using that so I've just closed this with a hitch fastener and down here I have uh, I think this is Butterbee scraps too and I just added a eye here that I bought from the store and it came in it came in one of these and it was on sale so I got it at Hobby Lobby I was excited finally to be able to use one of them I put some rhinestones on the corner and then this just flips open and I have some cheesecloth here that, and then I just layered one of my the cutouts here that I fussy cut out and then there's a pocket I just put some of the cutouts in oh, that's what I was talking about you hear that that's the periscope and Marion Smith is live right now so I'm gonna have to put go watch that later <laughs> And then here's uh, another one of the cutouts. And just a photo mat or journal spot. And I wanted a spot where it was just going to be um, potions. So I left that like that. And I just kind of cut that out of the collection and put it there. So. Oh, and this is actually magnetized. So it'll stay closed. I just wanted to. I wanted an excuse to use my chain. <laughs> And then this part is blank, so this could just be a giant photo mat. And I'm thinking of going in and putting a waterfall, uh, a waterfall here. I have enough from the six by six collection for that to work out. Um, this is another one of the cutouts. Can you tell this is my favorite image from the collection? I have it all over the place. Um, and then here's just one of the pockets and tag collections, and I just tucked this in under here. If it wants to go back in. Oh yeah, and then on this page there's a photo area. Put that one in the right spot. <laughs> and then over here is some more photo mats. And here is that paper that I really like. So this is, uh, I just have this magnetized closed and just lift it up and open it and this is from the paper collection and I wanted this page to stay as is as much as much as possible so I uh, measured it and messed with it a little bit so that it would end up showing all of it because I wanted it all to be like on a display area and so what I'm gonna do later that I haven't done yet is go over and add stickles and glossy accents in certain areas that I want to pop out so I'm gonna do that probably a couple of rhinestones and then here's another cutout. And so that just closes like that. And then here I have a pocket and then there's a photo mat area. And this was um this was fun to do because I never done anything I've never done one like this before, so um I had this piece right here and I was trying this paper from this is from the tags and pockets and I I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it, but um this is what I ended up doing with it. And I put this little metal embellishment here and then a rhinestone. And this I actually ended up magnetizing because um, it's just a photo mat area. And I was going to glue it down and then make a pocket behind it. But I've already, I already did that. So I did just left it as it was and um, decided to make it as a insert. So I will fold that back up later that just goes right in there and then there's another photo mat area or journal spot and I know people you know they mat both sides I just I don't want to do that because sometimes I like I like there to be an area to uh, to journal and not only that um, that's a lot of paper <laughs> and it gets out paper gets really heavy so <clears throat> I just left that alone and Plus, I don't, I feel bad, like, if you put a picture on here, part of me wants to start measuring these slightly bigger and these just a little bit bigger than 6x4. That way, if you put a picture on here, you're still going to see the paper background just like you see the uh, the cardstock here. I want that to be what it looks like when you put the picture down. So you still get to see some of that cool paper sticking out from the back, not just cover that up with a photo. 
So I think I'm going to start putting that feature in my albums from now on whenever I do these. And then here I have this little pocket or this little envelope that came with the pockets and tags and inside I have uh, that right there. So that just tucks back in there. And I have a pocket here, or a tuck spot here. I'll just cut that out and back it onto some cardstock and stuck it in there. And this flips down. And here is a, another tuck spot. And then down here is also a tuck spot. So, um, here is a belly band and I just put another tag in there. And I have this thing that catches it down here. And then I've just put another, uh, I put these throughout the entire album. And so on this page, I had lots of strips left from the paper collection and I didn't want to use, I have like two sheets left from the 12 by 12 and I didn't want to use them if I didn't have to. So I ended up uh, using the strips that I had left and I um, just put them next to each other and <laughs> made little tuck spots out of them. So these are all pocket areas that you can just tuck either photos in or uh, receipts or anything that, you know, paper-wise or anything that will fit in there, really. So these all lift up, and I think it's really cool. So that was something different I got to do. And more photo mats. And I used Kathy Orta's uh, Hidden Hinge Binding System. And then this is the last page where I just put this uh, tag spot down here. And that's a little insert there. And this just flips open. And I put some washi tape here. And uh, it's magnetized so it stays closed. And this can just be a photo mat area or a journal spot. And then that's the back. And I attach this with a eyelet. So. Oh yeah, and all of the corners have some Tim Holtz. Oh, that's like the only thing. Okay, so Tim Holtz um, metal corners are on here. I like these, uh, I like the small book corners. They're so nice. I mean, the other ones are nice too, but these are just simple and they go really well. All right, so that is this mini album. I didn't get to use any dies. I really don't have a lot of dies, but, um, um, I had lots and lots of fun making this one. And so uh, I was just happy to have the opportunity to make this album. And also, not only that, did I get to make it, I got to share it with Graphic 45. So um, they actually said that they liked it, so I was really happy. Um, all right, <laughs> well, that's this album. I hope you guys all liked it too, and I'm sorry it's such a long video and I rambled on a little bit. If you skip through, don't feel bad. I'm, it's totally fine. If you just wanted to put in fast forward or mute it and look at it, that's totally fine. All right, well, I will have some pictures posted after this. I'll also have the link for Butterbee Scraps below because I use them. Oh, these are Wild Orchid Crafts. And I will, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. All right, I hope you're all doing well. I'll see you next time. Bye.